today is about, or this thread, this comment, this video is about the double-minded nature of religion. We like to bring these things up from time to time as they occur to us, or we remember or observe things we've been through that illustrates the fact that religion is double-minded. That is what we believe. We understand not everyone believes that. So we provide evidence to show how it's double-minded. Two of the biggest ones are God is one, but he's three, and there are three, but they're one. Or you're totally forgiven. Just always beg God to forgive you when you sin. And here's another one. When, when Jesus walked the earth, we can observe how he lived. And some people say that is a pattern. And they say, be like Jesus. And there is endless double-mindedness involved in that. And one of the ones I want to bring up now is the fact that religion will beat you down with fear. It will beat you, literally, in your spirit with fear and guilt and shame over all of your sinning to keep you obedient. Yet Jesus was completely obedient. He was 100% obedient. And yet we see no fear in him. He obeyed. Why did he obey? How could he even obey? It's because he trusted his God. And that proves that he is our God. So I'm not here to tell you that you should be like Jesus. I'm telling you that you should look at him and see how he did things. He trusted his God. Are you going to do it perfectly? Of course not. You're not God in the flesh. He was God in the flesh. That's how we know he was God in the flesh. Because he was able to obey perfectly. But that was not what it's about. And it's certainly not what it is all about for us. I mean, he was to obey on our behalf perfectly. And we are to see that perfect obedience and trust in it. Not in some sort of carnal orders to be like God to be like Jesus and use the fear of loss of blessings or the fear of punishment and beatings as your motivation to become obedient no you you learn to trust him more and more day by day that's what the real life is the real life in Christ is that of drawing closer to him the closer you draw to someone at least someone who is good the more you will trust them that works in, in human relationships and all the more so in a relationship with you and your God because he is perfectly trustworthy. But you don't know how to trust like that. So that's why it's a process. Day by day you get to see him more and more and understand him more and more and have that closeness that causes you to trust him more and more. And the byproduct or the side effect would be that you obey more but that's not the focus of it because the focus is the relational part the focus is learning to live without fear and to live in total dependence on your God is to live without fear because you were learning about his love his perfect love which casts out all fear and that's why conventional religion is double-minded because it tells you to be like Jesus while telling you to be afraid, be very afraid. And always make sure you're very, very sorry. I even talked to a national radio host about that. And I said, so all you gotta do is say you're sorry? And he said, no, you gotta be really sorry. You gotta make sure you're really sorry. It's not just enough to say you're sorry. You gotta be real. So you generate this sorriness. Which again, the Lord never generated any sorriness. He never generated any fear about if he fails, he just trusted. So trust and be free from religion and be free from fear. Be free from all of it. Have the true freedom that's in Christ alone. In Jesus' name, amen.